Hi everybody, Scott here from Blue Mountain Bigfoot Research and today we're going to talk about a photo that was sent to me and what I think about it. Let's see what you think about it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I was sent this photograph by a friend of mine who works for the Forest Service down in New Mexico, and it was sent to them by a uh, tribal police officer who works on the Navajo Reservation, I believe it was the Navajo Reservation, and it was a sighting what he thought was a Bigfoot looking at him on the edge of a ridge. So I'm going to talk to you about what I think this photo really is. But first of all, I'm going to surprise you a little bit and say, is it evidence? Real evidence? Evidence, broadly construed, is anything presented in support of an assertion. This support may be strong or weak. The strongest type of evidence is that which provides direct proof of the truth of an assertion. At the other extreme is evidence that is merely consistent with an assertion but does not rule out other, contradictory assertions, as in circumstantial evidence. Scientific evidence consists of observations and experimental results that serve to support, refit, or modify a scientific hypothesis or theory when collected and interpreted in accordance with the scientific method. In philosophy, the study of evidence is closely tied to epistemology, which considers the nature of knowledge and how it can be acquired. So with that said, is there any way that we can possibly consider photographic evidence, especially in today's Photoshop world, as actual credible evidence? I'm going to have to say, no. But are photographs all fakes? I don't think so. So with our photo here, can I say this is hardcore evidence that Bigfoot exists? No, I can't. I have a saying that I use a lot. I mean, this is, this is where I stand on evidence is there's a lot of stuff that I think is interesting, but not conclusive. I say again, interesting, but not conclusive. So conclusive evidence is hard evidence that we can say this is 100% without a doubt Bigfoot. And this photo doesn't fall in that. In fact, I don't think any photos can be held up as conclusive evidence. So let's take a closer look at our little guy here. Um, could it be a rock? Could it be a stump? Could it be a broken off tree stump? sitting up in the air could it be somebody standing there looking back wearing a hoodie or could it be a moth in front of the lens i don't know you can't really tell um, i have an idea of what this might be and let's take a look at this i know i know before y'all start doing the thumbs down and getting the nasty comments going i know it's the second video that i've put out that i'm saying i think this is a costume i do kind of think this is a costume um the proportions in the face and the rest of the body kind of looks very similar to this actual costume and like I said, this is one of the most common ones on the market. This is, I have a stuffed one of these costumes in my room that I'm recording right now. Um, just because I would like people to know that if you see this in the woods, it's pretty probable you're seeing a guy in a costume that probably wants to get shot in the woods somewhere. So with that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. But what I want to say that this doesn't or does not or does or maybe doesn't I don't know it doesn't prove anything one way or the other this is like I said interesting but not conclusive 
Thanks for watching.